quick transit update done MOT'd um, soundproofed in every which way you can possibly think of got the crane on there We've got a winch down there um, it weighs 2.1 tons as it stands we think the crane is probably half a ton so we could carry a bit more if we took the crane off but it's just too damn useful and three and a half tons are one of these they are so gutless they make more noise than horsepower of anybody who's driven one will know um, whether we give it a transplant or not I don't know but we have sound deadened everything inside all the doors under the floor under the roof lining this has got the uh, bitumastic everything's covered the bitumastic sound deadening then 10 mil thick um, absorber material this has got carpeted on and I said it's everywhere um, I'll lift the bonnet and I'll show you so it's in the doors under the bonnet We've lined the bonnet, we've done everything that you can probably imagine. So it's up under here, it's there, that's the bit of gymnastic stuff that sort of deadens, deadens a panel, and then you've got this stuff goes on top to absorb the sound and the heat, and it works very well. You can have a very civilized conversation at 70 mile an hour without needing a loud hailer. The paintwork's come out all right, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend to be. Um, but it's, it's all one colour, we got rid of our go faster stripes and it looks pretty good now and it's very useful, we've used it already to deliver a bike um, today and we're doing a lot of long runs with it next week moving stuff around so um, hopefully it'll prove to be reliable, they generally are whether we give it a transplant of a turbo diesel of some description but it's got to be all manual no electronics, this whole reason of this and when we took it for MOT yesterday, and the MOT test, they couldn't believe it. No welding and no rust, it's unheard of on a smiley. Well, this is pre-smiley, actually, a Smart 3. Um, has kingpins on the front, like an LDV, this one. It's pre-independent um, suspension. And the last time it was MOT'd and on the road was 2014, so 2015 it would have run out. So it's been off the road eight years. So I think it's obviously been kept most of its life undercover. But there you go, just a quick update transit and then we'll be back on the RL within the next week or two.